Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to go over my number one tip that I do when I'm ready to give up on something. Now this tip is so, so simple that I'm really hesitant to just like throw it out there because you might not you know, grasp just how powerful this is. But let's say you are in nursing school and you're ready to give up, or let's say that you're a nurse and you just had like three terrible days in a row and you're ready to just write that like resignation letter. Or for me in, in my situation, like let's say I'm working on a video that I'm just ready to like send this to the garbage like right away. One thing that I do, and this I'm telling you, like it works every single time is <laughs> I do spring cleaning and no matter what time of the year it is obviously it, spring cleaning just means that you just go through everything in your house and you clean the house now I do this probably every two months because like I get these feelings that are just like so overwhelming so what I've found is that my outside environment is extremely related to my internal environment. And when I'm feeling overwhelmed, it's usually when things on my outside environment are like confusing to me. And it's so interesting because even like the smallest things can just irritate me. And it can irritate me on a level that initially doesn't affect me. But then when a few things build up, and then a few more things build up, and then a lot of things build up, it can really make me feel overwhelmed and it has like an effect on me that in the end can harm me if I don't do anything about it. So before I make any brass decisions, I always just, you know, take a deep breath in, take that, you know, day, it might take a full day to do spring cleaning. It takes me usually about like six hours or so. So that's almost a full day really. And I take that time for myself to clean out the outside, which is cleaning out the inside. And then in that clear mind, while I'm cleaning also, I'm thinking about the decisions that I wanna make and where I want my life to go and what I want to accomplish, and what my ultimate goals are. So I'm, I'm doing all that while I'm cleaning. But then when I'm done, then I sit down and I say, all right, let's really think about this. And nine times out of 10, I realize that it's not that big of a deal. And let's just keep going with the, the route that I'm on. Or sometimes I make dramatic changes and change everything. So it really just depends on the decision. I did this multiple times through nursing school. Through nursing school, it was about four years of questioning to make sure I was on the right track. I've been a nurse for many years. And so that there's been multiple times where I've wondered if I was continuing to be on the right track. So, you know, these are just things that you have to do and decisions that you have to make and there's no one, one answer fits all. So anyways, I hope that this simple yet powerful, don't forget how powerful it is, tip helps you out a ton. And I will see you next Monday with a motivational tip. Next Monday, I'm going to share what I believe is the secret to happiness. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you then. Love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.